I would like to say a special welcome to our distinguished guests. You look absolutely beautiful this afternoon. Thank you. This is Dr. Carol Boyce Davies. And I would also like to give us another special thank you and welcome to some of our specially invited guests. Um, that will be Miss Pearl into Springer. We have Dr. Carol James, Dr. Eugenia Springer. We have Dr. Abba Saba Sankana. Um, we have the ambassador, the Venezuelan ambassador, that is Mr. Alvaro Sanchez. I have that right. We have Professor Rhoda Redock. We have Zakia Yuzuma Wada. We have Kim, um, I don't think Kimberly Small is here as yet, uh, but she should be here, Councillor for Barataria. And we have our TAU members, but wait, before I reach there, we have Anna Maria Mora. Hello. <laughs> and these people are literally aunties and uncles to me. Right, and I would say thank you personally from me to you guys because I grew up in Emancipation Support Committee. Listen, <laughs> all I had it going on. Right, I'd like to say welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Kafra Campbell. Thank you, and we have Miss Yvonne Bob. Thank you very much. She is 29 all year, she's going on. <laughs> right. And to our TAU members, uh, the president, uh, Kendi, rather, where is she? Up and about. And we have all our dis other distinguished members, including myself. Thank you very much and welcome. So let's move on to today's proceedings. Um, we're going to have our libation by Egan, did I pronounce it right? Iyagan Ayuka and Baba Pianki. Hi, greetings, everyone. Um, it's a, so beautiful to be here today. So we give praise and thanks to, to Olodomari, who preside over the universe. He said, Ashe. Reverence to the 200 Imoles who sit on the right-hand side of Olodomari. Reverence to the 200 Imoles who sit on the left-hand side of Olodomari. Reverence to the 401 Oremeles. We said, Ibata Oremela, Obabala. Witness to creation. Iba, Aseda, Iba, Akoda. They are Oremela students. Reverence to the east, west, north, and south. Reverence to the sunrise. Reverence to the sunset. Reverence to Mother Earth. We pay reverence to the space. We pay reverence to the mountain that embraces space. We say reverence to the rivers that clean and nourish this country and the world. Reverence to the mother of the air, the beautiful bird, the Yamis. We said Ashe. Reverence to all Ori's here today. That our Ori will continue guiding us. Keep us in alignment. Our Ori Inu always be in alignment with us. Reverence to our governing Orisha. To all the Orishas. Reverence to our ancestors. Our great grandparents. Our grandparents. Our father. Our mother. He said Ashe. Reverence to our ancestors. All our ancestors, all our ancestors who have passed on this beautiful tradition on to us. He said, Ashi. We pay homage and we say reverence and solitude, respect. And we ask our ancestors will accept our respect. Reverence to our children. They are our future, they are our hope. We give thanks to them. Reverence. May they continue to find their path with our guidance. She. 
Odonomari, the Orishas, and the ancestors. We pay respect. We ask of you to continue supporting us in all positive endurance in our life. We ask of you to continue being a pillar of strength and success in our pathway. We ask of you that you will never leave us or forsake us. And we ask that the blessing and the ashe that you have empowered in us, that we'll use it wisely. That we'll use it correctly. That we'll use it in accordance of your alignment or your divine. We ask this in Northern name, but Odo Mary, the Orishas and the ancestors. May we continue fulfilling our traditional right. We said ashe. Umi awa iba shani. Iba bo shi se osun sele. Umi awa iba janei. Iba ba bo shi akbatani. Thank you. So as we move right along, we will have our traditional welcome by Seba Akende Rada, the president of Tau Traditional African Women's Organization. Bless and pleasant evening to each and every one of you. I'm grateful and thankful for you being here. What we do in Tau is that when we host events like this, it's not just about entertainment, but you must learn something when you're leaving and why we are traditional African women. At this time, we are going to welcome our guests in the traditional way. So it will just take a few minutes. I'm calling on who is the eldest person here? Who is the eldest person here? I need to have some voice. Who is the eldest person here? I need permission to speak. I need permission to speak. You have my full and heartfelt permission. So we call on all the women here who are between the age 80 to 95. Please stand up. 80 to 95. Don't sit as yet. It is not over. We are doing our traditional welcome. We appreciate you. We honor you. We respect you. And we share our love to you for your lifelong liberty. We are grateful that you are here to join this ceremony with us. And it is very important in our tradition to show gratitude and appreciation for all of our elders. Thank you very much. All ladies here between the age of 70 to 79, please stand up. <laughs> we appreciate you, Miss Todd. Not finish. <laughs> we appreciate you. We love you. We respect you. We pay gratitude to all that you have done for us and for your long liberty. We do, do love and appreciate all that you have done for us. All ladies between the age of 60 to 69, please stand up. We appreciate each and every one. We show you gratitude, we show you love. We ask for continued prosperity, long liberty, and we are very grateful and thankful for you being here with us today. All ladies who are here between 50 and 59, please stand up. We appreciate you. We are very grateful for you. We are thankful for you for being here with us. And we continue to show you gratitude and respect. And you know, we're going to not let those get away. We got to get up there too. I want to be 100. 
right? We thank you for being here, and we are showing you gratitude and appreciation for all that you have done. All ladies between 40 and 49, please stand up. We appreciate you. We are grateful for you. We are very thankful for all that you have done and that you'll continue to do what you are doing at the best as you can in your abilities. And we are thankful that you are here with us to enjoy this ceremony. All ladies between 30 and 39 years, please stand up. We appreciate you. We are grateful that you are here with us, especially at this time, enjoying this ceremony, and for you to continue in what you are doing with all the blessings of the Olodomari, the ancestors and the Orishas. All ladies between the age 20 and 29. <laughs> All ladies between the age of 10 and 19. Oh, we know here. We are <laughs> We appreciate you. Show gratitude, especially being here with us this evening among all these wonderful ladies with a wealth of knowledge that would be able to share with you as you grow. And we are hoping that you'll be part of our organization so that you will get that support as you grow in whatever field that you so choose. And we are thankful that you are here with us. Ladies between 10 and 9, normally we have young ones, but they're not here as yet. And what we do with this is that we show appreciation for the whole, even if we had babies, we would have done the same thing as well. And we go to the men, because as a traditional African woman's organization, we also show appreciation for our men, because we are about balance and it's about male and female. So all our men between 70 to 95, please stand up. We appreciate you, we respect you, and we give all praises from the ancestors and the Orishas that you are here with us to keep that balance with male and female and for you to continue in whatever you are doing with all the blessings of Olodomari. Thank you again for joining us. All of our men between 20 to 69. Krishan. All our men, all our men. All our men, all our men, all our men. We appreciate you. We are very grateful that you are here with us to have that balance in the tradition of the African tradition and culture. It's about male and female and joining us. We welcome you and we hope that we will continue to have your presence with each and everything that we are doing and for Oludomari and the Orishas and the ancestors to continue to bless you. And thank you very much for being here with us. All men between 10, 20, 10 and 19? <laughs> okay, so this is the end of this part of the traditional welcome. That's something we do so that age will not be of a burden or we're not embarrassed about our age because the way I was brought up, getting to all these numbers was a big celebration. So um, it's great that we are here and we want you all to feel comfortable and feel honored. And that gratitude for reaching this age because a number of us is still not here with us. All right, so how is everybody feeling right now? 
Are we feeling like warrior women? Yes. I think every day, matter of fact, right? Yes. Right. Let's continue being warrior women and confident in our skin because our melanin is winning, right? <laughs> okay, so Krishana, I think I'm real talk here.
your head, save your children. Oh, black woman, save them from self-destruction. Give respect that's due, give love that's true. That would raise your brother and not pull him down.
I heard a black girl say that her pretty hurts and her pretty will continue to hurt as long as ugly is deemed to those who wear the black body so can someone please tell me what really is pretty because to me pretty is having hair that defies gravity possessing skin that ages slowly embodying a body that can spell any letter in the alphabet other than ugly so you all better wake up wake up smell the coffee for the skin that we wear wrote mankind's history from our backs it built the world's nation most powerful economy and you would think by now that they'll be able to give us our 40 acres on a mule teach our kids the unsystematic bullshit in school but to give us those tools will only allow us to build ourselves up and they got to keep breaking us down for the sound of anything black succeeding is not pleasing so let's forget their plan a and let's talk about their plan b where they allow colorism to consciously creep into the cracks and creases of our cranium to cause chaos as the caution tape lines the carcass mouth of those who knows the truth because death shall surely follow them if they dare speak it but truth is still truth by any other name so why should we be ashamed to walk the streets in our dreadlocks our Bantu nuts, our dashikis, and our afros. Are we still too scared to show how beautiful really is black? Now I get it. I too have seen the cotton trees and the strange fruits that hang from them that look just like we, swinging low or up so high as these bitter tears leak from my eyes. No longer can I deny my past self for what better gift can one ask for to know where he came from thus the road to which he's heading will be easy trust me the epitome of black beauty is a living embodiment we see staring at the mirror screaming Kenson to love oneself is in vanity it is sanity to love oneself is in vanity it is sanity to love oneself is in vanity it is sanity so y'all can spare me to the grading conversation on what really is pretty because Pretty only seems to hurt me and only me when we wear it black and proud. Oh, how we just overshadow any crowd by just our presence. Yes. And the question how will forever leak from the lips of the ones who don't understand we are able to grasp a whiff. Just a whiff of the trinity that lives inside of we that is when you know your worth and you have it manifest into your own comprehension so never shall we ever 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 again have to shy away from our own reflection for we are all walking temptations amongst envious eyes and as they try to internalize us as beings they can't 
They do not possess the key to unlock our ancient rhythm, for our soul screams freedom, for we are free and free from slavery. I willingly mark my territory with our ancestors. A goon goon, a foe, a shay, they shall make a way, relentlessly and without doubt. Black people, most powerful weapons exist in their mouth, so don't make us make a call to home. Because trust me, they ain't seen no corruption unless you see Africans congregate and start a vibration so you can keep your version on what really is pretty. Because no longer in this 21st century shall I or shall we ever allow it to affect me. Because you want to know why? You want to know why? Yes. You want to know why? why? You sure you want to know why? Yes. For our black is indeed and forever will be beautiful. <laughs>
and also to say a lot about this position of black women, sorry, political life throughout the world. So I really want to thank Carol for that work. Carol has published over 100 journal articles and book, book chapters and has received numerous awards. For example, she has received the Franz Fanon Lifetime Award from the Caribbean Philosophical Association. <laughs> and who could want for a better award named after a more distinguished person? She also received the Distinguished Africanist Award from the New York State African Studies Association. And this is only two, these are only two of a very long list of awards, to which, of course, we add this one. So just to, brief, just to add to what you heard before, Carol Boyce Davies is currently the Frank H.T. Rhodes Professor of Humane Letters and Professor of Africana Studies and Literatures in English. She has held distinguished professorships at a number of institutions, including the Herskovitz Professor of African Studies and Professor of Comparative Literary Studies and African American Studies at Northwestern University. She's the author of Black Women Writing and Identity, Migrations of the Subject, Routledge 1994, uh, as well as she has collected some of the writings in Cla of Claudia Jones, which she has published in a book entitled Claudia Jones Beyond Containment. She has also edited a number of other literary and other works, including the, di the African Diaspora Encyclopedia, a two-volume encyclopedia. She's a co-editor with Ali Missouri and Isidore Okpuejo, of the African Diaspora, African Origins, and New World Identities, Indiana University Press, 1999, and Decolonizing the Academy African Diaspora Studies, Africa World Press, 2003. And her most recent book is entitled Black Women's Rights, Leadership, and the Circularities of Power. Circularities of power. I always forget that title. That's her most recent book. So our Honoree is, an, is a continuing scholar. She has not retired. I think as long as she had life, she will continue to work, and she will continue to write, and we can look forward to benefiting from her scholarship. So traditional African women's organization, once again, I congratulate you on your selection of our dear sister for this award, and I'm sure that it will be a valued one in her pantheon <laughs> of awards from various institutions globally. So without saying anything more, congratulations, Carol. Thank you, thank you. So you thought I said everything, but I didn't, huh? That was just a pinch, pinch, all right? Um, so now we will have your installment ceremony. And uh, Seba Kenley Rada and the Tau team. Our installment ceremony for Dr. Carol Boyce Davis. Dr. Carol Boyce Davis is your praise name, the essence of life, the life force. Without you, there is no life. In your family and your community, Dr. Carol Boyce Davies, we call Eshu to witness. We call Elegba to witness. We call Oshun to witness. Dr. Carol Boyce Davies, we call you Moja to witness. We call Obatala to witness. You cover in white cloth. You cover in the purity of your ancestors who now surround you. Your friends are here to witness. Your children are here to witness. Your grandchildren are here to witness. All the blessings come from those around you. Dr. Carol Boyce Davies, 
You have taken care of your mother. You have taken care of your brother. You still take care of your offspring. They shop old people in homes, but Dr. Carol Boyce Davis, all your family will take care of you. You will live to see the sun. You will outlive and bury your enemies. This is your seat. Take seat. Be upon it. Like a noble daughter of Ida, take your seat. This is your throne. Oromela, you are the leader. I am the follower. You are the sage that teach one wise things like one parents and ancestor. Ifa, the question is, who among the Orishas can accompany the devotee on his destined journey over the seas without turning back? Ifa said, it's Ori. It is one Ori who accompanied him own devotee on the destiny journey over the sea without turning back. Oromela said, when an Ifa priest dies, people say that Ifa instrument should be thrown into a ditch. When devotee of Shango dies, people say that Shango instrument should be thrown away. When a devotee of Osh Orisha Shanla dies, People say his paraphernalia should be buried with him. Oromela said, even since human beings have been dying, whose head is, is ever served from his body before burial. Ifa say, it is Ori, it is Ori alone who will accompany the devotee on a destiny journey overseas without turning back. If we have money, it's Ori who will praise. Your Ori, it is you. No God bless a woman without the consent of his Ori. Ori, I hail you. You wear white of purity. Your family is with you. Your enemies are defeated. Dr. Carol Boyce Davies, on behalf of the African Organization of Trinidad and Tobago, they give us the traditional African Women's Organization, this piece of artwork here, to give to you, especially for this day, for your installment. And they also want to be part of it by also offering you this gift. Artwork by Makemba Kunli. So you have been an officially installed. This is your stool, right? And it was plated to as well by the organization. And you would see your name and <laughs> yes. I went to school right over there, Eastern oh, Girls yeah. Government School. <laughs> and a really difficult uh, a time when they used to beat you and all of that. So just a couple of short things I want to say. My mother would be really overjoyed to be here, and I hope her spirit is looking at all of this. This is um, such an amazing wonderful tribute to us as a people, not just to me, because people like Stokely Kwame Ture always said, if you work for your people, your people will recognize you. And I really feel that this is one of those moments where I feel I've done so much of that work. And you get the academic recognitions, but then if your people don't recognize you, it doesn't really mean anything. So this means the world to me, and I'm so thankful for all of that. Yeah. Right, I don't know, thank you for being so lovely and all the memories and the lovely um, presentations and the dance and everything.
We are often not legible to the people we work with, but if we're legible to you and you can know who we are, this is amazing. The most significant thing for me too is Claudia Jones and the, the ambassador of Venezuela wanted to know. Born in Belmont right here in 1915, migrated to the United States when she was nine years old. She was going to be nine in a few days and then joined the Communist Party when she was about 18 years old. And because of her activity in the Communist Party, was harassed by the US government, eventually incarcerated three or four times, and then served 10 months of a year and a day sentence. So Claudia, um, for me, I chose to work on her because I, for a couple of reasons. One, in all of my studies, I was able to recognize the men who were the political equivalents of Claudia. People knew about CLR James, they knew about Padmore, they should know <laughs> about Padmore, Oliver Cox, Stokely Carmichael, but there's no equivalent recognition of the woman who did that kind of activist work. And she was that person who, when she died, had tributes from the Chinese government. Um, had a diplomatic level funeral in London and is actually buried to the left of Karl Marx in Highgate Cemetery, London. Oh, yeah. So if you go to see Marx's bus, look to the left, that's Claudia Jones. That's Claudia Jones. There you go. There you go. So for me, it was, it was both a nationalist kind of project because, according to Sherry Spudenstelli, who wrote a piece on this, a kind of mutual comradeship in terms of ideology and politics. But also, this is a Trinidadian woman from Belmont. And I was so pleased with, with Attila. One night, we went to the Clot and did this uh, event. And right around from the Clot is where Claudia Jones was born on Casavan Lane. So we went by her house and did a little libation and threw rice, I think, over the people's house and all that. So she's from right here. So again, one of the reasons to be right here and being at home and being centered. Uh, for Claudia Jones, I honor her. This is for her, this is not for me even. I honor Claudia, this is yours too. So Claudia is recognized. We will share this too, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. We are now gonna have a pan duet from the uh, Irelit Thomas, that's my daughter, and Chelsea Dunbar. They are from Massey All Stars Youth Orchestra. <laughs> right? So, you young ladies can take it away.
dancers are here to perform again for us. We will have our chromology.
Honorable Dr. Carol Boyce Davies, our host, Mrs. Olafemi Rudder Thomas, the Ambassador, Mr. Sanchez, our past awardees, Dr. Carol James, Ms. Cheryl Bowes, Ms. Entu Springer, most valued invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on behalf of the traditional African Women's Organization and the entire supporting team, members, hereby extend a hearty vote of thanks to all those for gracing us here with their presence today. Thank you to Dr. Carol Boyce Davies for first ac accepting our invitation and coming, gracing us with her presence to accept this award. Thank you. Thank you to Yanga Ayoka and Baba Pianki for their libation. Thank you for our president, Siba Akinde Rudder, for her traditional welcome. Thank you to Lordat Entertainment Arts Dynasty for their lovely dancing and the spoken word. Thank you to Professor Rhoda Ruddock, Reddock, sorry, for the lovely biography that she did justice to Dr. Carl Boyce Davies. Also, thank you to our singer, Mr. Christon Joseph, to our panduit, Iodeli Thomas and Chelsea Dunbar, and our Pelican African drummers, wonderful rendition. Thank you again on behalf of the traditional African Women's Organization. We thank you for coming out today, for supporting us, for showing your love and support for Dr. Carol Boyce Davies, and I wish you a pleasant good afternoon. Thank you.